Hello and welcome. Well, Santa Claus was good to me. I got a few new projects going here. Let me show you what I got. Well, I got a new disc grinder. Uh, I got a chuck. It's a five-inch five chuck. It's a cheap chuck, but uh, I've, I've got these before and they're really good chucks. Uh, amazingly good for the price. Uh, Got to make a backing plate for that. That'll be a future video. This is going on my Logan light. And I got a scissor and knurling tool. Uh, that's what we're going to work on today. I'm going to make a modification for it that'll make it work way better. I hope. We'll see. Let me show you what I'm going to do. Okay, what you're looking at here is some scrap stock I had to practice a knurl on. And it did pretty good. Uh, I think the tool is going to work good. I started out right here, tightened it down real good, got a real good knurl going, and then I engaged the uh, carriage and it, it moved across like that, but you can see what's happening. See the force, see the flexing going on there? Well, because it required so much power to move the carriage, it twisted my tool post. In other words, it slipped it on the compound. And uh, I tried tightening it up to stop it from slipping, and I could not stop it from slipping. So, what I'm going to do is build a bracket for my tool post that engages with the T-slot so that it can't rotate. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, here's the tool. It's got a bracket here that fits in the tool holder. Uh, what I'm going to do... That's my uh, T-nut sitting in the compound there. I'm going to turn it straight like that. Lock it down. And then I'm going to take a piece of angle iron, drill through it, and bolt to my uh, T-nut. And then, I'm going to take that out take that bracket off and bolt that to the side of that angle iron. And that'll do two things. Instead of it'll be hanging off the side of my compound like that so there won't be any twisting force this way. It'll just be it'll, uh, basically be trying to pull that nut, uh, T-nut out but I don't think it'll do that. Uh, but I thought I might uh, mill off part of that so that it creates an, a slight extension there that fits right into the T-slot so there's no chance of it rotating. Uh, anyway, first thing I got to do is make a, a a bolt that fits into that. That's 9 sixteenths, uh, it's probably metric, but a 9 sixteenths uh, I don't remember what the threads per inch, but 9 sixteenths bolt fits right in there. So that's the first thing I got to do. Yeah, it's about seven eighths of an inch. Probably less than seven eighths. Probably just a hair too deep. The reason I did that though is I gotta take my tool post off to try the threads. <laughs> so if I have to go back and make them deeper, I lose my position. And doggone it, I didn't go deep enough. Uh, still a little tight, but I think it's gonna work. I got a thread file. I'll try that. that's going to work. It's a little bit tight, but it'll be fine.
go 1.494. Go just a hair further. Perfect fit. Heck yeah. Now, what we're going to do is take this arm off and locate the position. You, we want that right there. conflict here. I'm going to have to cut that nut off. No big deal. I think I'll cut that one off rather than this one just so that I could go back to the original design if, if I overlooked something. Really what I need to do is get a nylon nut for that. I might just take this washer off the back side that support it better. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's see what kind of neural we can get. Well, that's definitely, definitely mounted better on there. Be helpful to have a nylock nut on that. That way I can lock it down with real close tolerance, but that's pretty solid. Okay. Okay. From what I understand, it's better to have it just to one side, like to this side of the rod. Good neural. Enough to see what we got. Uh, 
I uh, should have stopped, let it rest there just a little bit at the end. It's not quite as deep right there, but I don't know how well you can see that on the camera, but that's that's a perfect neural. Yeah, it's pretty well in focus right there. There you go. Not too bad. I, I uh, should have paused right there and let it dig in a little deeper at the end of the neural. I like it. Well, that about wraps it up. Pretty easy fix for a uh, knurling tool. It works way better. When it was mounted on this arm, that put the tool way out here. And that was a whole lot of leverage. Anyway, that about wraps it up and thanks for joining me. Be sure and subscribe.